Commander Diggle. Okay, I just realized I can't jump over him. Forgot I got trolled by that like every time I was playing this the first time. Fuck my life. Um, I do play Drum Mania, but only when I get the chance, like when I go to arcades, which is like practically never. It's like, I think I've played Drum Mania like 10 or 15 times in 2013. So, not too often. It's like, only the only times recently have been uh, when I've been able to go to arcades because my friends have like helped me out some. Yeah, I li like they released a new drum. Like they had they had Drum Mania XG, which was really amazing because it's literally a full drum kit, double bass and all. But then they condensed it down or they compressed it down in size to a normal Drum Mania kit size while still keeping the double bass and like the three toms and everything else, which is fucking awesome. So I really like that. Uh, it's called Gita Dora now. Got it, bitch. That shit got wrecked. Wrecked it and checked it. So yeah, how the hell do I get down here? Do I need more things or something? Uh, it's spelled G-I-T-A-D-O-R-A. Redo the first level. Maybe there's a key in this. Oh my god. Wait, you need to complete all the levels with an exclamation point just to get on to the next levels? Are you serious? That's like kind of insane. The thing that got me into rhythm games in the first place was um, I liked Parappa the Rappa and I played Hip Hop Mania which was the American translation for fucking- What am I doing wrong here that I can't hit that? Am I like derping it here or something? Um, I did beat this level before though. Do they all have to be beaten on the same difficulty or something like that? Because I beat this one on an easier difficulty and then I fucking uh, haven't played on the harder difficulty yet. But um... I had been playing Prap of the Rap a little bit and Hip Hop Mania and shit like that, but I don't really think much of it, you know, when those came out back in like 98 and 97 and shit like that. But then I saw DDR, uh, my parents took me to Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk when I was about 14. And I saw DDR there and I'd read an article about it in Electronic Gaming Monthly and I was like, oh, okay, I'll try this game. And when I first played it, I couldn't even uh, beat anything beyond like Have You Never Been Mellow and shit like that on Basic. And, um,. I fucking was so proud of myself that at the end of the day, playing in sandals and shit like that, I was able to beat fucking Butterfly Basic with like a B. And this little fuck face there was like, oh, I can get an A on it, that's not even that good. And I was like, you motherfucker. I was like, you wanna fucking play me with that shit now? I'll rip you a new asshole, bitch. And fucking, so he was Mr. Snobby Cock. He fucking probably fucking fucked off. But, but anyways though, um, so he fucking was all that about that shit. 
And then I got better and better, and I played it more and more. And I found out there was an arcade in town that had DDR, and then I just started making friends from playing it, and it just blew up. It just, I super duper got into it, and I got into a bunch of other rhythm games, and then that was basically it. I still can't fucking get to that level, what the fuck? So you have to fucking must have to complete these with all the fucking gold found. It was pretty fucking insane. I figure I'll play this until midnight. And then I'll stop because I'll have to uh, start working on shit. So when I said just perfect the last level, well, why would it matter if I did it on that compared to everything else? I don't have to get an exclamation point on all levels. What the fuck did I just jump into? Alright. I guess we're doing something now. Fuck it. I guess avoided the gold, I'm cool. Kicking a bitch. That was easy enough. <laughs> Winning, congratulation. Alright. I said fuck off on that. Um, Attack on Titan's good. I fucking would recommend the manga over the, uh, over the anime, I guess. But then again, the anime has some really good audio, so fuck! Doing the double kick. Doing the double dick kick. Oh, it looks like there's another little, another one of those levels there. Um, I don't think Bleach is like a revolutionary show or anything like that. It's like, you know, it's just normal anime. Like, it's it's an okay one, but it's not fucking gonna like change your whole worldview. You know, like Bravely Default would. Yeah, Bravely Default the best. Fuck it. God damn it. No, oh, okay, you're right. I do get to do the next level. This is a huge fucking thing. I thought Mirai and Nikki was pretty good. Bounce, motherfucker. Oh shit, that's weird. I don't know if that different kick means anything. Does it mean anything with the different kick he does? Oh my god, fuck my ass. I think this will be the last level I'll do for the night, and then I will go and uh, work on some shit. Sorry for those of you that find this boring, but I do know we still do have like 193 people in here, so it can't be that bad. 
tomorrow I will be playing a bunch of other games, so, you know, there you go. Oh my god, I can't believe I fucking made that. I seriously thought I was so fucked just then. Oh, I got fucked. Fucking fuck the fuck fucking key. I think Naruto, Bleach, and to a lesser extent, One Piece, because people don't seem to bag on that series as much, um, are much like Final Fantasy VII, and that people are simultaneously overhyping and underhyping them. It's like, I'm not going to agree with people that say it's like basically the best thing since sliced bread, like Naruto, Bleach, or One Piece, but I'm also not going to agree with the people who say that they're like garbage series and fucking terrible and so uninspired and so unoriginal, because, you know... Yeah, they're, they do have original things. It's like, it's just the whole psychological aspect of when something becomes extremely popular, everybody and their mom starts, like, you know, ripping it off. And so then you eventually believe that it's not fucking original anymore because you don't realize that they're the series that actually invented it and started it. It's like, for a personal note, it's like when I did my rock band videos, a lot of people, you know, like, fucking thought that that shit was just awesome when it came out. And then, eventually, fucking people started thinking that I had ripped it off of somebody else. Like, they started thinking, I mean, I did take it from the Japanese Tatsujin videos, which I never hid. I always made it very clear that I took it, I took the idea from the Japanese Tatsujin videos of shit like Beatmania and stuff like that. But people were saying I, like, ripped it off of other rock band players and stuff like that. And started saying that, like, I got the idea from other people to play rock band, even though, like, I put that video out, like, day one of rock band. And so it's like when something gets really popular, people sometimes will make the mistake and think that like it wasn't the person to invent it.